Okay, there's another little one right here. Um, uh, too small, I'll put my knife beside, but put eight inches, but maybe four. Not good enough to cast, but there's other indents here. I see some other ones, but sometimes they can be too soggy. Okay, it's just it's after a it's after a storm, well, a couple rains. So I'm rechecking the marshy areas and. Uh, I've seen some lighter imprints. I mean, I guess it could have been a person walking in their bare feet in here, but let me show you what it looks like in here. It's pretty bright. I can't see actually what I'm feeling. Might be able to hear a loon in the background. Oh, there's a lake over there. That's the end of the lake. Is a one of those natural made shelter shelter kind of things up in there. Oh, the loons are responding. Anyway, there's something jumped down in here. I mean, you can see the outline of like whatever made it is like barefoot. I mean, you can see the, uh, the arch sort of there. I don't know. I guess some people like going walking through the mud. Loons oh, are chattering up a storm. Okay, well, I've seen some odd stock rocks over there, but I mean, people do that when they're hiking. They like to... Leave lots of uh, signs that they've come and gone. I'll zoom down there just to. Tried a couple of wood knocks, I didn't get anything, but. Yeah, Mr. Loon. Alright. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm gonna zoom in on it. Something went through the mud there and there. And then there's another one there. I mean Yeah, it could be a person, but I mean I just stuck my stick in here and I went but 10 inches deep with a stick so I mean if I go in there I'll lose my boots you get that suction grip thing happening in the bog I'm going from rock to rock also helps you from leaving your own behind but. Hmm. a little too wet this time Maybe I'll check back in here after it dries out so I can investigate that. There won't be any detail in those anyway. And, uh, there. there. It'll be just big wet outlines. But when it dries up a little bit, I can check back in on this area. I think there's a bit of a nest up there. Well, not a bit. Good size. You know, a fallen tree where branches have been stacked up, but I'm not going to disturb them. I'll go around the perimeter, just try to film them, and if they're there, I'll go around the perimeter and like this and just try to film them beside trees, watch them and stuff. 
and you're not going to catch them on the open. You're going to need to be in a field or something and just get lucky at dusk or first thing in the morning.